In today's video, I'm going to show you how to simplify expressions. Now, simplifying expressions is all about combining the like terms. So let's say you're given an equation 2a plus 3a. These can be combined because they both have a single variable a. Now, 2a is the same thing as 2 times a, which would just be a plus a, because you have 2a. And then we have 3 more a, plus a plus a. So how many a do you have all together now? Well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5a. Five and a simpler way of doing that is just looking. 2 plus 3 is 5, and both are combined with an a, 5a. Let's look at another example. Say you are given 5a plus 2b plus b. Let's look at the like terms. There is only one variable a, so that is a term by itself. But there are two different b's, so we can combine these b's. So we're going to have the term 5a plus, now let's combine these b's, 2b plus another b, that's the same thing as 2b plus 1b, and we know that 2 plus 1 is 3, so we're going to have 3b. The a cannot be combined with the b because they are not the same variable. So this is the simplest form. And in simplifying an expression, you always want to have the simplest form, which is the most like terms you can combine together. 2a plus 3a plus 4b plus 5b plus 10c plus 3. Looking at this, you can see three separate variables. You have a, so this is a like term. You have b, this is a like term. You have c, and you have a number without a variable. 3. So let's combine the like terms. 2a plus 3a is 5a. 4b plus 5b is 9b. 10c is just 10c because there's no other c. And 3 is also by itself. So that would be just 3. And this is the simplest form you can get because each variable does not have another variable that it matches with and you're left with a number that can't be combined with anything else. 